Hey guys, welcome to the workout. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I've got a 20 minute full body workout, no equipment necessary, that you could be joining me for. Follow right along here. But before we get into that, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos resolving aches and pains, preventing injuries, and overall optimizing your performance. And it doesn't get much better than that. So go ahead and join us. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. Here we go. All right, guys, welcome to the workout. Like I said, today's workout is gonna be a 20 minute total body approach here. We're trying to hit every muscle group that you can imagine from head to toe. And we're gonna do it all as efficiently and effectively as possible in 20 minutes here. So the format of today's workout is gonna be broken up into three chunks. We're gonna have, first of all, a five minute warm up round or core activation round. That's gonna be four exercises. We're doing one minute on, 15 seconds in between, and that'll be for all three chunks here. One minute on, 15 seconds in between. You don't have to worry about the timer because I'll actually have that going in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So I'll have the clock going for you. Don't worry about the timer. The second chunk is gonna be our full body circuit or our full body flow, whatever you wanna call it, because we're not coming around to the same exercises. We're going right through to the next as we go. Once again, one minute on, 15 seconds there. And then finally, we're gonna have a finisher chunk where we're just gonna be doing the same exercises. You got four minutes at it, and we're gonna be doing that one, one minute on, 15 second rest in between. Now for the finisher, you can go for the full minute if you wanna go for the advanced version of it. If you a more intermediate version of it, I would recommend trying for 15 reps or 20 reps, somewhere in that range. Or if you're going for the beginner range, just shoot for 10 reps and take whatever's left in the minute, add it to your rest period of that 15 seconds. So 10 reps or one minute or 10, 20 to 15 reps or one minute, whichever comes first, depending on the level of difficulty that you want to make it for yourself here. Ready? Grab a water bottle and a mat. That's the only equipment you'll need and technically you don't even need that mat. So let's dive into it. All right guys, remember we'll be starting with the core activation round here, starting with a bird dog. Ready, go ahead and begin. So what we wanna do is be on all fours here. I'm reaching the opposite arm out and the opposite leg out at the same time, trying to go to full extension of the leg and the arm. I wanna make sure that as I extend, I'm focused on keeping the abs engaged, engaging the glutes so that I'm keeping my lumbar spine from arching. I also wanna be sure that as I pull back in elbow to the knee, I'm doing a little bit of a flexion in this position so I'll feel my abs engaged. Focus on stability coming from the shoulder of the based arm by keeping the elbow rotated in toward the leg that's extending back. 20 seconds, keep working hard. Good job, rest 15 seconds here. We're gonna be switching sides for the bird dog. So we're going with the other arm and the other leg that you haven't done yet. On that first one, I did right arm and left leg. So if you're following me, it's gonna be left arm and right leg. Ready, go ahead and begin. We've got a minute on with the right leg and left arm here. Once again, stability comes from the shoulder of the arm that's planted by keeping the elbow rotated in toward the thigh of the leg that's extending. You're using that arm and the leg that's planted to create this cross body stability. Focus on the core staying engaged through the abdomen, in the glutes engaging when you extend, in the hip flexors as you draw the knee in, and in flexion through the abdomen when you draw the elbow into the knee. 20 seconds, keep going strong. And rest 15 seconds. Next, we're gonna be going down to our belly here. What I want you to start with is engaging the glutes so that you're pressing your pelvis into the floor tight. 
The quads are gonna be engaging here. This is a prone pull-up. So we're gonna take the hands off the mat, reaching up overhead, and then pulling the elbows down and in so that the shoulder blades are retracting and depressing on the upper back. You'll notice my chest is elevate, elevated from the floor here. My abs are engaged against the floor. This is gonna help protect so I'm not only using my low back. I'm supporting from the abs, I'm supporting from the glutes. That's the main thing I should feel. And from the upper back, I wanna feel a lot of work going into the mid back. 30 seconds, keep those reps coming. Seven seconds remaining in this one. If you have a gym dog, I'm sure you could relate right now, or if you have dogs at all, they're probably in your face trying to block this workout. All right, 15 seconds of rest. Our next exercise is going to be a glute bridge hold. So we're just gonna be going from the glute bridge position and holding the hips elevated. What I wanna do is start by rolling the shoulder blades down and back. Go ahead and begin. Drive the hips high. As I drive the hips high from the glutes, I'm also externally rotating the hip by pulling the knees open. So my hips are high, my knees are wide, and I should feel my glutes holding on tight in this position here. I want my heels to be pretty much in line with my knee or my ankle to be in line with my knee there, so there's a pretty vertical shin in this position. Focus on the abs staying engaged, keeping the upper back pulled into the mat here. 30 seconds, go strong. And rest 15 seconds. All right, so that was our warm up core activation round here. Next, we're getting into the full body workout here, the actual flow. Five seconds, we're gonna start with a half Turkish get up. What I want you to do is put your right arm out, your left leg up. What you wanna do is roll to the forearm first with your left arm reaching to the ceiling. When you get up to the forearm, you're gonna push so the arm extends fully and then raise the hips up with a tight glute bridge at the top, making sure you're getting full extension of the hips. Just re reverse the pattern on the way back down here. So you're gonna lower the hips, come back to the forearm, and then come back flat to the back here. This requires no weight at all. We're getting a lot of work in here through the obliques, through the glutes, and even in the back and shoulders. You should feel your upper back working to pull yourself up from this position here. 15 seconds, keep working hard. And rest 15 seconds. Now we're going to be switching sides. So you're going to be reaching your right arm to the ceiling, your left arm is going to be off at the side, and your right leg is going to be planted. Ready? Get set, go ahead and begin. Pushing yourself over through the foot that's planted to the forearm, to that left forearm. Raising up onto a straight arm, shoulder blade engaged on the upper back, elbow rotated in toward the ribs. Finally, lifting those hips, nice high glute bridge, driving up from the hips, keeping the knees open away from one another to keep the glutes engaged and then reversing it on the way back down, lowering those hips, going back to the forearm, and then back to a flat back. 30 seconds, keep working.
All right, very good, 15 seconds to rest here. Our next two exercises are gonna be a reverse lunge with a balance out front. I'm gonna be balancing on my left leg to start with my right knee out front, ready? Go ahead and begin. So the hip flexors are engaged here. The glutes are engaged from the leg that's straight. I'm driving my quads tight through the floor, my glutes tight through the floor on that standing leg. I wanna step back and reverse lunge there so that both knees are about 90 degrees. That's how far back I should be stepping. So my front knee is about 90 degrees and my back knee is at 90 degrees. As I drive back up to standing, I wanna go right into that balanced position. Once again, locking in the quads, locking in the glutes of the balancing leg and pulling from those hip flexors to pull that knee, if I'm able to, above 90 degrees. 25 seconds, keep working. seconds to rest we're gonna be switching sides here so this time balancing on the right leg and pulling the left knee into that balanced position five more seconds ready get set go ahead and begin hip flexors pull that knee toward the chest step back both knees at about 90 degrees when I step back I'm reaching with my smallest toes I want to make sure that my smallest toes are what I'm planting back there so that my hip is internally rotated from that back back leg. The front leg, that knee should open up toward my small toes. So we're working toward the small toes with the knee on the front leg and internally rotating the hip to get into the small toes on the back leg here. Drive back up to that tall standing position, quads engaged, glutes engaged, locking out that leg. One leg pushing, one leg pulling. 20 seconds, finish out strong.
All right, 15 second rest. We have two exercises left in our regular round here. We have a straight leg, single leg deadlift on each side. What I'm gonna be starting off on is my left leg here. So once again, knee out front, go ahead and begin. I'm gonna reach that leg to the back. What I wanna do is engage the glutes here as I reach that leg back, and I'm just reaching my hands past my knee. Each time coming back up tall, quads engaging again, glutes engaging, so that one leg is pushing while the hip flexors on the other side are pulling up to that standing position. It's okay if the leg that you're balancing on has a little bit of a bend as you reach back here. We wanna make sure that we're loading those hamstrings, so really trying to feel that posterior chain. Focus on the shoulder blades, engaging on the upper back, keeping the upper back musculature engaged throughout here. 20 more seconds on this side. rest 15 seconds going to be switching sides so we're balancing on the right leg and moving through the left leg here seven more seconds to rest go ahead and start to set that leg for balance draw that knee up so you're ready to go and begin reaching back hands trying to pass the knee once again reaching the leg out extending back through the glutes keeping the core engaged keeping the shoulder blades engaged Maybe your gym dog came back and uh, tried to get in your way on this one. He's going for a kiss, I think, here. So stay focused. It's a little extra challenge. We'll call this the advanced version. <laughs> Dodge the dog. 30 seconds left in this one. Finish out strong. We have a finisher round coming up here. and rest 15 seconds. All right, for our finisher round, we're doing four rounds of burpees. Beginner is 10 reps, intermediate 15 reps, and one minute the whole time is advanced. If you need to elevate your hands on a surface to actually make the burpees even easier, go ahead and do that here. We're in our first round. The first round, I'm gonna show 10 reps here, and then from there, I'm gonna be doing 15 reps out. So I'm working at that intermediate level for the rest of the rounds here. 45 seconds, get as many burpees as you're gonna put in there, put that effort in. It might take you the whole minute for 10 burpees and that's quite all right. Just take your time, focus on landing in a nice squat position with the knees pulling open away from one another, one another jumping up tall, extending those arms overhead, and then a nice plank position when we're in the ground on the ground there. 20 seconds. that 15 second rest period is beginning right now. So 15 second buffer zone here. I'm gonna talk you through the form a little bit more on these burpees, they are moving quick. So three seconds and we're getting into that next round. Start with a nice push up. We want the shoulder blades rolled down and back, elbows in toward the rib cage, tight butt, tight stomach. And you're pretty much landing back in that push up position every time those hands come back to the floor and those feet shoot back. When you're jumping up into that squat jump, we wanna make sure that we're landing in the bottom position of a squat, getting those feet underneath us in one fall push and making sure my hands are off the floor when my feet are coming in and landing. So I'm getting those hands off the floor. It's a nice explosive push. 30 seconds, finish it out.
All right, very good. We're on that 15 second buffer zone here. Catch your breath. If you're still recovering some here, take your time. You have six more seconds in this buffer before we start the next round. Get ready, get set, and go ahead and begin. Do you see you got me falling again? More times than I can get out. Oh, yeah. Down in the deep of my mind, I call for you and you're always inside. Down in the deep of my mind, how long do I go to keep you, to keep you? Down in the deep of my mind, I call for you and you're always Fifteen seconds to rest, and one final round here of burpees. Finish out strong, whatever you got left in the tank, keep that form, that is your main focus, so I don't care how many reps you get, as long as they're quality reps. Go ahead and begin, last round, finish it out strong, and bring it home. seconds left in the workout give it the best effort you can finish out strong all the way to the end here under 10 seconds seven seconds five seconds three seconds two one and time great job guys all right and there you guys have it 20 minutes quick effective should have you sweating and breathing pretty heavy at this point if you guys like the workout, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share it with a friend. You know they got some extra time on their hands right now, so uh, might as well get some good workouts in, right? And if you had a gym dog crash your session, leave a comment down below so I know I'm not the only one like this. I mean, I know I'm not the only one, but go ahead and drop that comment down below so that uh, I could share in the experience with you guys. And if you have not already, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve those aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance. And it really doesn't get much cooler than that, guys. So jump on it, join the Stronghold Army today. I wanna to thank you guys for joining me for this workout. I'll see you next time.